there are a number of brands, uh, you know, selling a lot of tablets today, from low end to high end. So uh, we check out. We're going to check out today Asus is uh, offering uh, the Asus Transformer Pad, which is a convertible tablet. Now the Asus Transformer Pad is a 10-inch uh, tablet, but it has quite large bezels. The resolution on the tablet is 1280 by 800, which sounds pretty decent. But the viewing angles does, do not look that good. Even the brightness level is a little low. Checking out the design, uh, it has a very standard plastic back. Uh, there's a camera, as you can see, there's the power button on the top over here. On the other side, uh, you can see the 3.5mm audio jack. At the bottom, you can see the main dock. Now, the Asus Transformer Pad comes with an additional, additional keyboard. Now, Asus is not clearly telling us when this keyboard will be available and you know how much it will be available for. But uh, you know there is a provision for a dock keyboard. But then again, you don't know when you will get that. There's the micro USB port over here and the volume buttons. This runs on an Intel Quad Core Z3745 CPU. Uh, this is 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal memory which sounds a little less. Although there is expansion on board and there's a SIM card slot for 3G data as well. It comes with the really good looking two stereo speakers, one over here and the other one on the other side. This is running on Android 4.4 uh, KitKat which is, uh, you know, it has Zen UI on top which is pretty smooth uh, and judging by the whole size of the tablet, it feels slightly heavy, although it's not that heavy, you know, for something like a 10 inch tablet. But yeah, you do feel a slight bulk in your hand. And with the big bezels, uh, it, you know, you can hold it really properly and, you know, without coming onto the screen. But the whole display is a big finger fingerprint magnet. As you can see, I'm already getting a lot of smudges on the display. Leave alone the sunlight uh, readability, it's really, really bad on that. But again, it has a lot of fingerprints when you just touch the display. Even on the back, it gets really dirty very quickly. So if you have little sweaty palms like me, uh, you are ten, you, you know, you're gonna get a lot of fingerprints on this. Talking about the performance on the Asus Transformer Pad, uh, the performance is pretty decent. Uh, the UI is actually really, really smooth. Uh, what Asus puts as a Zen UI, it's actually very smooth and you know, we didn't see any lags or anything. Apps run uh, perfectly fine, but uh, you know, a bit on the gaming, uh, this isn't very, very powerful. The Atom processor, the Z3745 quad-core 1.8 GHz processor coupled with 1 GB of RAM, it doesn't provide a lot of uh, you know power if you're like playing games. Uh, it tends to you know stutter a bit, and you know there are some frame, frame drops as well. It can't handle really really high-end games, but uh, you know if you are playing something smaller like maybe Angry Birds or something like uh, you know Temple Run or something like that, it, it will work fine. But on the graphics, if you want high-end games and all that, it doesn't work that well. Uh, let's quickly try, uh, you know, a quick HD video. When you're talking about the graphics, uh, you also look at the display. The display is not so good. I mean, not all the le uh, all the corners of the display aren't lit very good. But it runs the videos pretty good. Uh, you know, the, if you're playing full HD videos, even uh, 720p videos, it runs pretty fast and there isn't, you know, any problems with playing high-end videos as well. As you can see over here and over here, there are two stereo speakers, which are pretty loud. And you know, if you're, if you're playing some videos, if you're like what, uh, uh, listen to some music or something, pretty much, uh, you know, pretty good to fill up a whole room. Uh, talking about, again, the UI, like I said, it's smooth. And uh, you know, we didn't have any issues uh, whatsoever, but few of the apps uh, which we didn't want were now, there obviously there's bloatware and a lot of uh, devices so a bit of bloatware but not that much the ui is light uh, like i mentioned before and everything works the apps you know multitasking is pretty much okay you don't you can't expect a lot of performance out of this but yeah if you want something like you know, a, a, an everyday usage uh, tablet but not with very high graphics uh, you know usage then this is a pretty okay tablet so the Asus Transformer Pad, should you buy it? Now at 19,999, this is a bit too much to ask for. 
Now the performance is not very good even though it has the Intel chip. Uh, overall the design is okay but you know we could get away with the, the fingerprints at the back and the front. And without having the main keyboard, the dock keyboard, which ASUS is not yet you know sure of, uh, it does not feel really good at this price. You could go for up something at this price and get a really good performance package, a better display and actually a slightly better design as well. So uh, without the whole package, without the keyboard, the, the packaging, the whole transformer pad, the whole thing, it doesn't look like a good deal.